the high country. Yes. And, and you know, it may feel chilly to you in a lot of places, but not cold enough for Evergreen Lake. Tomorrow's scheduled opening for ice skating is now pushed back at least a week because the ice is simply not thick enough there. And these mild temps won't help us, Chris, for those of us who like to get out there. You know, we both live up there. I mean, in the morning, Alan, it's 25 degrees in mm. Evergreen. It should be much colder uh, this time of the year, giving you a live view of the city. And you are looking at Denver. We are mostly uh, clear today across the state. We have a lot of sunshine out there, but the clouds are going to come in. I'll show you why here in just a second. Uh, we are 53 out at the airport, 46 in Fort Collins, 40s and 50s on the eastern plains. Now you get along and west of the divide. It's a little cooler. We're mostly in the 20s and 30s in the high country. Gunnison just eight. But you were 12 below this morning, so you are making progress. Meg Armstrong, our weather watcher out southeast of Watkins. By the way, met Meg yesterday at the toy drive. Good to see her there. 51 degrees at her house. We have low pressure in Texas, keeping the eastern side of the country unsettled. High pressure is sitting right here over the central Rockies, so that's why we are so nice and clear today. But we're always watching something off in the distance, and it's this low pressure sitting right up here off the coast of Oregon. It's going to scoot through Wyoming. You can see it here. There's that red ill coming right across uh, tonight into tomorrow. It goes to Wyoming, but we are close enough. I think northern Colorado will certainly feel it as it goes by. Uh, that's going to bring some cloud cover and some wind, but right behind it, high pressure returns for the last half of your weekend. Here's Futurecast sunshine today. Then look to the left. You see that cloud cover coming in, maybe even a, an occasional mountain snow shower that crosses the state real quick on Saturday and then by Sunday morning, it's long gone. We're right back to the sunshine. So as it goes by, plan on some occasional cloud cover tomorrow and possibly a little bit of wind. Uh, actually, I think we will have some wind. So plan on some wind if you're going to be out and about tomorrow. Let me go back and show you the high temperature uh, map for today. Oh, we backed up too far. Here goes Futurecast one more time as that system rolls through Wyoming. Quick shot of cloud cover and some wind, possibly a mountain snow shower. Highs today, we're pretty close to where we uh, will end up, but the high country will get a little bit warmer and we'll see a few more degrees here in the city. Broncos game well for mid-December. My goodness, this is about as good as it gets. 40s to start that game, uh, possibly upper 30s as we get toward the last half. Five day forecast, Alan. I really can't bring you any uh, Christmas feeling holiday type weather. We're in the 50s, <laughs> even some 60s all the way into next weekend. So a very unusual stretch of weather for Colorado for this time of year. Yeah, it makes that shopping a little bit easier though. Yeah, that's one, one benefit. Okay, Chris, thanks a lot. Coming up, how the cheerleaders